the NVIDIA app is an excellent replacement for the NVIDIA control panel and GeForce experience that we've been very impressed with, or so we thought. News has recently been spreading among the PC gaming community that installing or using the NVIDIA app results in a performance hit. So in today's video, I'm going to see whether this is true using a variety of different app configurations. Now, it would obviously be bad news if the NVIDIA app was causing a performance hit on gaming PCs because NVIDIA are transitioning their software stack over to the app. GeForce Experience has already been discontinued and removed in favor of the NVIDIA app, and over time, the remaining control panel features will be merged into the app as well. If merely installing the NVIDIA app at all, which could be a requirement at some point as part of the driver installation, causes a performance hit, this is not going to be good news for GeForce GPU owners. As of today, installing the app is optional. But there are also multiple components that make up the NVIDIA app. There is the base application itself, which includes various settings and the driver update page. There's also the NVIDIA overlay, which is loaded into games and accessible via a shortcut. That overlay has multiple different features, including game filters, video recording, and on-screen performance metrics. We need to dial down and figure out whether any performance impact due to the NVIDIA app is merely from the presence of the app being installed, for example, built-in telemetry running in the background, or from specific features that you may or may not be able to disable. For testing today, I'm benchmarking a selection of six games on the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super across a range of NVIDIA app configurations, including it simply being uninstalled. All testing was performed using the latest version of the app, 11.0.1.184, and the latest GeForce drivers, 566.36. Testing was conducted primarily at native 1440p, and my test system has an AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D CPU, along with 32GB of DDR5 6000 memory. Let's get into the results. I'll start here with Cyberpunk 2077 running at 1440p using ultra settings. With the NVIDIA app uninstalled completely, I averaged 71fps in the benchmark pass, which is pretty decent performance. But when installing the NVIDIA app, I found performance reduced to 69 FPS, implying that not having the app installed resulted in a small 3% performance improvement. But there's more to the story than just this. The NVIDIA app lets you disable the in-game overlay, so what happens when you do this? Interesting. Performance increases back up to 71 FPS. This is a positive finding first up. It's not the NVIDIA app itself that causes a performance loss. You can safely have the app installed, but there's something to do with the overlay that impacts FPS. Dialing down further, and it doesn't matter too much whether the overlay is visible and showing performance statistics on screen or hidden away in the background. Either way, there is a performance impact relative to not running the overlay. I also found that disabling the overlay while the game is still running doesn't restore performance. You have to restart the game or disable the overlay when the game is not running to see a performance impact. I also found that having the NVIDIA app open in the background as opposed to closed or minimized made no difference. But it actually goes one step further. In Cyberpunk 2077, I discovered that pretty much the entire performance impact is attributed to one specific setting, enabling game filters and the photo mode. This is a setting you can change separately to the overlay itself in the NVIDIA app settings, so you can retain the performance statistic overlay and video recording components while disabling the game filters and photo mode separately. Disabling this setting restores performance back to the level of having the NVIDIA app totally uninstalled even when running the statistic overlay on screen. I should note here that this is with zero game filters enabled and while not running the photo mode. This is the default stock configuration you get when installing the NVIDIA drivers and NVIDIA app, so at least in Cyberpunk, it appears some component associated with either of those things causes a small performance loss. But to confirm these findings, let's take a look at a couple more games, but before we do, Today's sponsor spot is brought to you by Gigabyte and their new range of X870 and Z890 motherboards, powering the latest AMD and Intel processors. Gigabyte Z890 range supports Intel's new Core Ultra processors, while the X870 range supports AMD's Ryzen 9000 series, including the gaming flagship Ryzen 7 9800X 3D. All models offer robust power delivery with optimal cooling, screwless M.2 storage, and AI-powered overclocking software to ensure you get the most out of your CPU. The stacked I.O. offers various connectivity options, including Wi-Fi 7, up to 10 gigabit LAN, Thunderbolt 4, and plenty of USB ports. 
Now, a new feature of the AI Top models is the included utility that allows you to train your own AI models at home or for small slash large scale businesses. Finally, Gigabyte's X870 and Z890 range are available now from your favorite online retailers. And until December 31st, you can score a bonus Gen 4 one terabyte SSD when purchasing select models. So for more information, please check the links in the video description. To confirm these findings, I explored a range of other games. In Star Wars Outlaws, I spotted a 4% performance improvement from disabling the overlay, specifically due to the photo mode and game filter setting. Like we saw in Cyberpunk 2077, it's possible to retain the other overlay features and play with the same level of performance as having the app completely uninstalled. The performance impact in Alan Wake 2 is very close to what we've seen previously. There's at most a 3% performance improvement from disabling the photo mode and game filters, which delivers equivalent performance to running either with the entire overlay disabled or the NVIDIA app uninstalled. When all of the overlay components are enabled, this is where we see the largest performance impact, though 3% is still relatively small. Black Myth Wukong suffers from a 5% performance impact when using the overlay and all its features, but like with the other titles examined, performance can be restored to normal, equivalent to having the NVIDIA app uninstalled by disabling the photo mode and game filters. The impact in Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart was larger than in the other titles. Disabling the NVIDIA overlay led to a 7% performance increase, which is certainly quite substantial for an overlay and not ideal when you're chasing the best performance. However, this performance can be restored without uninstalling the entire app. You can either disable the entire overlay to bring that performance back up, or just disable the photo mode and game filters. In Hogwarts Legacy, I decided to test at 1080p medium settings just for something a bit different to see whether I could bring about a different outcome to the games that we've already tested. The performance impact here was the largest of the titles I tested, a 16% performance gain from completely uninstalling the NVIDIA app relative to running it with all of the overlay features enabled. However, you can restore most of the performance through the usual tricks mentioned earlier. In this example, disabling the photo mode and game filters didn't completely restore performance, but reduced the margin down to just 4%. Then turning off the overlay entirely resulted in just a 2% impact compared to having the NVIDIA app uninstalled, which is kind of margin of error stuff. This is the only title where I saw any performance difference at all from running the performance statistic overlay, though minor, and it's basically margin of error. Lastly, I wanted to explore whether the performance impact from the NVIDIA app is different to running the old GeForce Experience that it replaced. So I revisited Cyberpunk 2077 with GeForce Experience version 3.28.0.417 installed. With GeForce Experience, I saw no performance difference whether the overlay was enabled or not, and this was regardless of whether the game filters and photo setting was enabled, and in GeForce Experience, that setting is kind of hidden away in the overlay. I didn't see a performance increase from using GeForce Experience relative to the NVIDIA app either when the overlay was disabled. This implies there is some sort of issue or bug with the way the game filters and or photo mode is implemented with the NVIDIA app that is causing a small to moderate performance loss in some games. If this aspect of the overlay works fine with GeForce Experience, it should be possible to fix performance with the NVIDIA app as well, but for now it's an issue with the newer app only. So does installing the NVIDIA app hurt gaming performance? Yes and no. Yes in the sense that if you install the NVIDIA app and use the default configuration with the full overlay enabled, you will see a small performance impact while gaming, or small to moderate. No in the sense that you actually can have the NVIDIA app installed and see no performance impact, but you have to change a single setting in the settings page. It's not an ideal situation, but it's not as catastrophic as I've seen some people make it out to be. When you do see a performance impact from using the NVIDIA app based on our limited testing across six games, it could be anywhere from 3% to 15%. 3%, not a huge deal, that's a pretty small performance loss and is pretty typical for these sorts of utilities that have overlays and that sort of thing. 15%, that's much larger than we'd like to see from using bundled software, albeit I only saw that sort of impact in a single game. I expect most of the time you're gonna be seeing single digits. The fact this seems to be caused by the game filters and photo mode setting, which relates to the NVIDIA overlay, is quite strange. My expectation here was that the performance statistic overlays would be causing this sort of performance impact, but it's actually a setting that doesn't appear to do anything. If you have no game filters enabled and aren't using the photo mode, 
I would have thought enabling that setting would have no impact, but that's not the case. This combined with the lack of impact we saw running the overlay in GeForce Experience leads me to believe this is some sort of bug with the current version of the NVIDIA app. The good news is that if you're worried about performance, you don't need to uninstall the NVIDIA app or even worse, revert back to using GeForce Experience. In fact, you don't need to disable the entire overlay. All you need to do based on what we've seen is disable the game filters and photo mode setting. I'm not ruling out a small performance impact from continuing to run the rest of the overlay. Those things can impact performance, but our testing shows that the vast majority of the performance loss we're seeing is associated with that one setting. This means you can even continue using NVIDIA's built-in statistics overlay and other overlay features with little to no performance impact. But for now, you'll have to go without filters and the photo mode. And really, if you're not using game filters, it probably makes sense to just leave that setting disabled. Using game filters typically reduces performance anyway, so for those that must have the highest FPS, you just wouldn't consider running a filter. But hopefully NVIDIA will also fix this problem so that even with zero filters enabled, you won't see a performance impact. Anyway, that's it for this brief analysis of the NVIDIA app and the performance concerns that are running around at the moment. I think there is definitely room for this app to improve in terms of its performance side of things. And yeah, if you use the default configuration, it's no surprise that you might have seen some performance impact, but hopefully for the majority of people, just change that setting that we've been talking about and you should see that performance restored. At least that's what we saw in our system and hopefully you'll see the same sort of thing in your configuration as well. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you do appreciate the independent testing that we do here at Hardware Unbox, then please do consider supporting the channel via our Patreon page. Link, link to that is in the description below. Uh, if you do so, you'll gain access to some pretty cool benefits like our Discord community, monthly live streams. One of those will be coming up pretty soon. We've also got BTS stuff, plenty of good stuff to enjoy. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.